Let's take a closer look at the preferences in the Core 4. The Core 4 offers global settings and user settings. This video is going to discuss the global settings. The Core 4 Preferences area can be found by selecting the Core drop-down menu at the top and then Preferences. Global settings apply to the Core 4 as a whole and are not user-specific. Before you begin working in the Core 4, you should set up all global settings. First, we have the General tab. This tab provides you with an area to specify your company information. You can enter your company name, street address, country, phone and fax, and website. The details here will appear in the upper right-hand header on letters and faxes. You may upload a logo for your company here. The logo will appear in the upper left-hand header on Letters and Faxes. The company-wide bulletin appears on the dashboard. We have the option to turn the bulletin off, make it static, or you could make it a scrolling bulletin. Let's take a look at how this will be viewed on the dashboard. Here you can see the scrolling company-wide bulletin. Now let's go back to Preferences, and down below, you can select the default record that's first going to appear when you open the core. You would enter the contact ID of the record in this field. This record ID comes from the specific contact record ID here. So for productive computing, we have the contact ID of 1166. So if you wanted the core to always open up to this record, you would put in the ID 1166 here. The next tab is the Templates tab. This tab allows you to manage all your templates for use with emails, letters, and faxes. So for example, we have a sample letter template here, and it has all its merge fields. The Merge Fields tab allows you to manage all the merge fields. We give you a collection of merge fields to start, but if you'd like to add a new merge field, then this requires knowledge of field expressions and may require assistance from a developer. I'm going to create a new template and I will call it Follow Up. Let's make this an email type. These filter options allow you to choose which template types you would want to display. Select the blue arrow to open up the specific template. And now we can begin entering our template details here. Here we have our merge fields on the right. And you would just simply grab the field and drag it onto the template. and you can put in some generic text. Next, we can put in a subject line, and I'll keep it as follow-up. Let's go ahead and generate a new email and see how we can use the template we just created. Go over to Template, and since it's an email, we have three email templates available. Select Follow Up and Apply. And there you can see I have my template with the merge fields filled in. If I were to go ahead and print this, here you would see the merge fields have been filled in accordingly. Next is the Phone Formats tab. This tab allows you to manage all phone formats, and international phone formats are supported. Here I have three countries entered. If you wanted to enter an additional phone format, simply edit the country list. And I'll add Brazil to demonstrate. Now we can select Brazil. 
and let's put in six digits as an example. Let's see how phone formats work. As you can see, currently the country is the United States. I'll change it to Brazil. And let's add a mobile number. And there it's going to take on the Brazilian phone format. The other two phone numbers did not change the format. Whatever country is specified at the time the new phone numbers are entered is the format that they're going to take on. So if I were to change this back to the United States, I would need to re-enter the phone number here. Next is the SMS tab. This tab allows you to send out an SMS directly from the Core 4. First, you will need to create a Clickatel account. Please see the Core 4 documentation for the link where you can create a Clickatel account. After you've created your Clickatel account and you've created an API key, then you may enter your username, password, and country code. You'll be able to send a SMS out by navigating to a contact record. Simply select the cell phone icon and that's going to allow you to send a message that is up to 160 characters. Next is the Activity Categories tab. This tab can be customized to meet your specific needs. Categories can be set up for events, tasks, notes, and project items. You may make a category inactive if it is no longer in use. You can also filter out the active and inactive categories. Let's go into Tasks and create a new category. You may also customize the look and feel, such as bold, underline, italicize, and color. Now if we were to go and create a new task, we would see we have the general category with the appropriate font settings we just specified. Next is the Calendar Settings tab. Here you can create and manage all user and group calendars. Calendars must be unique and a calendar is automatically created for each core user. Here you can create additional individual calendars and group calendars. Select the plus button and let's create a group calendar called Marketing. You'll see that group calendars are automatically changed to uppercase. You can apply specific calendars to a group by selecting the group calendar and then selecting all the individuals that you would want to associate with that calendar. Next is the List tab. This is where you will maintain various lists for the entire Core 4 system. Lists are accounts, payment methods, terms, shipping methods, customer messages, taxes, and classes. If using QuickBooks and the FM Books connector, then you should manage and maintain all lists in QuickBooks rather than the Core 4. Let's go ahead and create a new class and I'll call it General. The Exists in QB box is used for QuickBooks Data Exchange. And here the default checkbox allows you to select a default class. You could also use the red X button to delete. Classes are used throughout the Core 4 system. The next tab is the Stages tab. Stages can be set up and used for opportunities, estimates, orders, invoices, and projects. Please ensure that you have your stages set up before you begin creating new records. Stages specified here will be applied to the new record at the time the new record is created. Let's create a new project stage. You can reorder stages if you need to move them up or down with these blue buttons. 
It is very important to note that you should set up your stages before you begin creating new records. Next we have the Plugins tab. This tab allows you to set up plugin integration if you are using the Address Book Manipulator, FM Books Connector, FM Credit Card, iCal, or Outlook Manipulator. The settings and functionality of this tab are further explained in the various plugin integration videos, so please see those videos for further clarification on this tab. And lastly is the Modules tab. This is intended for use by developers only. Please see the Core 4 Developers Guide for the Modules tab functionality. This is just a brief overview of the many features and possibilities of the Core 4. For more information on what the Core 4 can do for you, please explore core4crm.com, review the videos and documentation, and try a demo. Please contact us via email, phone, or browser forum if you have any additional questions.